Hey everyone, welcome to another AP Statistics video, and today we're going to be talking about permutations. The cousin of combinations, another way to count the number of sets or, group you can sets or groups you can make from a larger set of things. Why is there a bunch of stuff about free stuff at the bottom? Uh, it'll come into an example later, but let's talk about permutations for now. So, it's basically, I'm sure you've heard of those problems where you're asked, how many groups of three can you make from a set of ten or whatever, right? You've probably been asked a question, something along with how many ways can you arrange something? How many possible ways can you combine something? How many lists, groups, or ordered sets can you make from a larger group? In either of these situations, you've probably been told to use either a permutation or a combination, depending on whether or not the order mattered. But that's never made a whole lot of sense to me, so I'm going to try to explain the difference. But to start off, I'm going to say that when you're going to use the permutation formula, which we'll take a look at in a minute, when the order in which you select items from the larger group to put into the smaller group makes a difference to the item selected or, I guess, life after the group is set. When the, when the order you make the selection in does not matter, you're going to use the combination formula. You'll see down at the bottom I provided a link to the combination formula video if you'd like to take a look. Remember, permutation, order matters. Combination, order does not matter. But let's take a look at what that means. I'm going to use a sample problem to help explain. Ted, a professor at a French university, has decided to hold a raffle in his class. He put the names of his 25 students in a hat. The first name he draws wins $1,000. The second name he draws wins $500. And the third name he draws gets $200. He's only going to draw three names. How many ways can he draw a group of three students? So basically the question is asking how many different ways can he draw... How many different ways can he draw out three names from a set of 25? And this is a permutation. And we know we, in a permu it's a permutation because the order in which we select the names out of the hat matters, right? Because only the first name gets the $1,000. The second name gets less, and the third name gets even less, right? If you were in these Ted's class, right, if you were a student in this situation, you would want to be the first student called because you would get the most money. And so, in this case, the order in which we're selecting these numbers, order, sorry, the order in which we're selecting these students matters, because ultimately only the first student call gets the thousand dollars. And so, really, your the order, the or, because that order matters, because it's important, we have to use the permutation formula. In a permutation, the order members of a group are selected in changes the outcome of life for the element selected, as we saw. Only the student who's called first gets the $1,000. And because of that, we have to use the permutation formula. Now you're probably also wondering, okay, so what? How, what's an example of the order not mattering, just for argument? Well, let's say if each student got the same amount of money, right? If each student got $1,000, then it wouldn't matter if I, the student, any student was called first, second, or third, because they would all get the same amount of money. So it wouldn't matter. That In that case, the order would not matter, but you, you would use a combination formula. But in this case, because the order does matter, you're getting a permutation formula. So let's do a visual example. You could pick the name Michael first, and he would get the $1,000. Then you could pick Jane, and they would get the $500. And then you could pick Susie, and she would get $200, right? That's one group of students. But the permutation formula accounts for the fact that there's a different or that the order matters, right? So let's say one possible combination would be Michael, Jane, Susie, but you could also it would also count for Susie getting that thousand dollars, then Jane, then Michael. Same group of students, but because they were called in a different order, they get a different amount of money. And because and because that amount of money changes is why we say the order in which we're selecting students matters, which is why we have to use the permutation formula. And that formula is this. And basically this is saying n factorial, which is the number of elements you may choose from, so in this case 25, and r, the number of elements you need to choose. You need to choose 3, right? So let's plug in the formula. That'll make, I think it'll make it a whole lot more sense. So it's n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. And so n being the number of elements you may choose from, we can choose from 25 possible students. So 25 goes on top, 25 factorial, minus 25, or sorry, divided by 25 minus 3. 25 being the number of elements you may choose from, 25 students, minus the number of elements, or students in this case, you have to choose 3. 25 minus 3 is 22, which simplifies 25 times 24 times 23. 
And just a reminder of if you're wondering what the exclamation point is, it's the factorial symbol, which means just take the number and multiply by all the numbers that come before it. So 25 factorial will be 25 times all the numbers up to the number 1 that come before it. So 25 times 24 times 23 times 22, da 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 da, da all the way up to the number 1. And so you do that and you simplify, and you get 13,800 groups of 3 if we're including the repetitions. And what I mean by that is when we what we what I mean by that is when we say the order matters, right? Thirteen thousand eight hundred ways you can call a gr call a group of three students in a class of twenty five, and that's the permutation formula. And remember, whenever you are looking at a situation where you have to like draw a number of number of students or elements from a larger group into a smaller group, and you're trying to figure out the number of ways you can do that. Just ask yourself, does the order matter? Does the way, no, way in which I'm taking elements from the larger group and putting them in the smaller group make a difference to life after I sort the group or to the lives of the elements I'm choosing or the people using the elements or students that I'm choosing? If you can answer that question, then you can always tell the difference between when you the you can always tell the difference between using or the times you need to use the permutation formula or the combination formula. As always, like the video, post a comment, or send a message, and I can answer any questions you have.